Welcome to Celebration State, where we help Christian creatives grow in their creativity and in their love for God. Let's talk about longevity. It's one thing to be really excited about a dream that God's placed in your heart, but it's a different thing entirely to be able to see it through long term. And I believe God was showing me a picture of this in the parable of the ten virgins with their oil lamps. Then the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. For when the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them. But the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, they all became drowsy and slept. But at midnight there was a cry, Here is the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins rose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, Since there will not be enough for us and for you, go rather to the dealers and buy for yourselves. And while they were going to buy, the bridegroom came. And those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast, and the door was shut. Afterward, the other virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered, Truly I say to you, I do not know you. Watch, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. Of course, this is a story about wisely waiting for Jesus' return. But is there some other wisdom we can draw from this about enduring in our callings? I believe there is. Number one, keep oil in your lamp. In this parable, people could look at the oil as the reverence of God or as reading his word so that it can be a lamp. But all that matters is that you are continually being sustained by God. Don't let your artistic calling distract you from the source of light. Number two, put in the time when it counts. The five wise women had come prepared. They had done the work before so that they would be ready when it mattered, bringing their flask of oil. If you are going to endure as a creative, you are going to have to be wise with your time. Know that success isn't going to happen to you. It will be the result of your time and effort. Number three, buy oil from others. This was the instruction the wise women gave to the foolish, probably based on their own experience. If there is something you need, you might just have to buy it from someone who has it. As a creative, you need to go to the people who have what you need. If you need to grow in a skill, learn about it on YouTube, or maybe even pay for classes to learn how to do it. Listen to wise voices in your life. Ask questions from those who have greater experience than yours. You'll be glad you did. Number four, be patient. Whether wise or foolish, none of them went home early. They stayed out and waited for the bridegroom. We have to be like this. Even though our eyes might get weary, we have to stick it out and hold on to what God has given us to do. Or we're never going to see it to completion. We're never going to see what God has for us if we can't endure. In everything we do, we give praise to God. We let the oil of everything God has placed inside of us burn unto Him and shine a light in the darkness. Our victory is in Him and it will always be. Like and subscribe for more creative inspiration and turn on notifications to come on more creative adventures with us. Thanks for watching.